China crumbles under global pressure, quits its nine-dash line claim. Beijing appears to be shifting towards a new legal theory to justify its claims in the South China Sea. Malaysian Foreign Minister Safuddin Abdullah told reporters last week that Beijing now speaks less of the nine-dash line and more often of the for Shah. Member countries of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN, he noted, have witnessed the transition. This is the first instance where the Chinese Communist Party has made a retreat on its claims in the South China Sea. The unprecedented development goes on to show how increasing global pressure and a reinvigorated ASEAN have forced Xi Jinping to make this humiliating retreat. China replaces Nine Dash Line with Four Sha. The global pressure on China has reached new levels, with relatively friendly organizations like the European Union and ASEAN taking steps to contain Beijing's influence in their backyard. On the domestic front, China is facing even more problems. The growth rate has reached at best absolute zero and at worst, double-digit negative growth. Many factors have contributed to this. Be it the exodus of companies out of China, the real estate debacle, energy crunch, failing one-China policy, the list goes on and on. The situation is so precarious that even a paranoid Xi Jinping has been forced to change course in the South China Sea. China has shifted to a new legal theory to justify its claims. For Sha, or Four Sands Archipelagos, are the four island groups in the South China Sea that Beijing claims to hold historical rights to. These island groups are known as Prada's Islands, Paracel Islands, the McClesfield Bank Area and the Spratly Islands. Back in 2016, an international tribunal has already invalidated the nine-dash line claim saying China has no legal basis for it. Although Beijing rejected the ruling, other nations have endorsed it, and to this day, the international community has been pressing on China based on the ruling. In particular, the major ASEAN member countries have started hurting China in their respective capacities. All the China Hawk member countries have even come together to present a united front against Communist China.